Continuing on. Thorbian Rammer, F-20A. In a line with the duty of protecting Excalibur, he was assigned to the 5th Air Division's 32nd Tactical Fighter Squadron, a provisional aggregation of various squadrons. Raymer, serving a as the captain, quickly transformed them into the Air Force's defense backbone. He was killed in action, in action during Operation Beta. Daniel Ludwig, a another Ludwig uh, family member. A member of the House of Ludwig, home to generations of accomplished soldiers, he was arrested after the war on charges of war crimes. After serving his sentence, he was released. However, with no place to go, he became a wandering vagrant. Van Router May 29A Retiring from service after the war, he changed jobs often working as a bike m messenger, dishwasher, and a taxi driver, among others. However, he eventually found a job as a bouncer at a local bar, and now passes his days as an average citizen. I, I, I just, just he just gets me thinking for some reason now. They're barely reading him again. I guess I'm thinking about that guy. <laughs> Ernst Blum, F-18C. Detailed information regarding this pilot is unavailable. Again, strange. Another Ludwig family member, Gerhard Ludwig, Typhoon, garnered the protection of popular government through generation generous donations. But with the war's end and a change of power, seven generations of the House of Ludwig fell to ruin. Gerhard Ludwig's escape to a small country in the south where he fell ill and later passed away. After the war, the, Lud the Ludwig family um, it kind of fell apart. Fabian Ludwig in my series, he's trying to build his house back up to regain control of everything. Okay. Helmets Scum Matcher. Scum Matcher. F2A. Schumacher's father was a commanding officer in the Belgian military, who had followed in the footsteps of countless ancestors, an officer candidate himself. His future seemed already with written, but was cut short when his plane was shot down in mid-South Belka. Sigwald Antimon, F-15S, MTD. Joined the Belkin Air Force in 1988. During the war, he was always he always placed himself on the front line. There are no merits in particular to note, but his patriotism and sense of duty thought him much respect within his troop. Luca Wolfram, X-29A. In 1991, Wolfram transferred from the test pilot from the from test pilot to the Special Operation Air Force Unit 160. Capable of skillfully maneuvering any aircraft, he participated in countless special operations. He has only been shot down once. Jens Hahn, SR-71. Lighting from the age of 20 as a mercenary in conflicts throughout the world. Upon returning home, he enlisted in the official Air Force. Having fought as a mercenary, his various military connections garnered him the respect of many. He was buried in his hometown at the base of Mount Grach in the Gilberto Mountains. Ulrich Stecklenberg, EA-6B, a pilot adept at disrupting enemy radar and expert in the field of ECM. After the war, 
he was offered a position with Hartwig Bremer at the Ocean Ministry of Technology. He is now doing well as a researcher in the field of enemy aerial defense force countermeasures. Dominic Zuboff. Okay, Dominic Zuboff is from Yuk the Banya. I just want to point that out. MiG-31. Assigned to the 13th Night Fighter Air Division, 6th Tactical Fighter Squadron, and feared even by the Allied forces throughout the war as the escapee killer. After the war, he fled in order to escape persecution as a war, war criminal. There are reports that he is now living in Osea, but the truth in, his, in this remains uncertain. Hmm. Sir, Sergei Karkov, uh, another person from Mukdebanya, MiG-31, assigned to the 13th Night Fighter Air Division, 6th Tactical Fighter Squadron. The Night Fighter Air Division was, in fact, a squad designed to assassinate deserters. Deserters being like people who are so fucking scared they just want to get out of the battle so they won't get killed. Huh. Little to no information is known about this squadron. However, inquiry to its nature continues. Harold Brema, Swartz III, MiG-31. A member of the 13th Night Fighter Air Division, 6th Tactical Fighter Squadron. He was shot down... Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. He was shot down in battle, but his death has yet to be verified. Rumor exists that he fled the country after the war, but due to extreme damage to official records, confirmation on his whereabout of whereabouts remains unlikely. Sepp Bonhoff, Bonhoff MiG-31 Assigned to the 13th Night Fighter Air Division, 6th Tactical Fighter Squadron, all personal information regarding this pilot has been erased. The Night Fighter Air Division appears to have had other duties besides eliminating deserters. However, details remain scarce. Melger Collins, MiG-31, Swartz 5. A member of the 13th Night Fighter Air Division, 6th Tactical Fighter Squadron, he is currently a member of the top level management at uh, Omicron Electro. Some say that Collins secretly changed his identity after the war and that he is actually Frederick Getton. Due to lack of evidence, confirmation of this is unattainable. Raphael Badenberg, MiG-31, Schwartz 6. He was a member of the 13th Night Fighter Air Division, 6th Tactical Fighter Squadron. Inquiry into the squadron continues. All Night Fighter Air Division records were destroyed when Belka's defeat became apparent. Alexander Roshart, MiG-31. All information regarding this pilot, except for the fact that he was assigned to the 13th 19, uh, Night Fighter Air Division, 6th Tactical Fighter Squadron, has been erased. His name, age, and personal registry records provide upon enrollment into the squadron remain in question. Investigation into this matter as well as that of the squadron continues. This squadron has been shr shrouded in mystery. Maximilian Warner, Schwartz 8, MiG-31. Assigned to the 13th Night Fighter Air Division, 6th Tactical Fighter Squadron, his death has yet to be verified. Due to the destruction of Belka's Belkan public records, confirmation of this of his true existence remains unattainable. If still alive, he poses a very dangerous risk. <sighs> <sighs>